Hi all, welcome to the first video of our Rose to Beginner series. In this series, we are starting our journey to explore the fundamentals of Rose 2. Whether you are new to robotics or transitioning from Rose 1, this series will guide you through the basics. In today's video, we will kick start with an overview of what Rose is, its key features and how it differs from Rose 1. Rose 1 is the first version of robot operating system and Rose 2 is the second version of robot operating system. Rose 2 is still not that stable. If you are ready to learn Rose 2, hit subscribe button. Let's get started with our Rose 2 beginner series. Rose 2 or Robot Operating System 2 is a powerful and flexible framework designed to facilitate the development of robotic systems. It is a successor to Rose 1 and comes with several enhancements and new features to meet the requirements of robotic community. Rose 2 acts as a middleware which enables the communication between different components of a robotic system. This communication is crucial since we need to make the coordination between different sensors, actuators, controllers and other modules in a robot. Rose 2 also introduces a concept known as nodes. Nodes are modular units of computation that perform specific tasks within a robotic system. These nodes communicate with each other by publishing and subscribing to topics. These topics act as communication channels, allowing these nodes to exchange information in a structured manner. There are different ROS2 distributions. Example are Galactic, Foxy, Humble, etc. So, in this video, we are going to install and configure ROS Humble distribution in an Ubuntu 22.04 OS. If you don't have Ubuntu in your machine, Go to the site and download Ubuntu image to your system. Once download is done, you can use the software Rufus to write this image to your pen drive. And then you can use the pen drive as a boot drive to install Ubuntu in a system. So let's start with ROS2 humble installation in Ubuntu 22.04. Search for Rose 2 Humble Installation so you will get this link. I will also provide the link in description box. Open the link. So this is the official Rose 2 documentation of Humble Distribution. So we can start with the installation. First step is to make sure that the system has UTF-8. Take a terminal using Control Alt T. So this will give you a new terminal. In this terminal, we can copy the commands from this documentation one by one. You can copy all commands all together and paste so that the consecutive commands will get executed or you can copy one by one. To make sure you have a local which support UTF-8, type the command local and you will get this information so then you can copy the next command sudo apt update ampersand ampersand sudo apt install locals and then you can continue with the next three commands copy one by one and paste it in terminal once it is done you can verify the settings again using the same command local Next step is to ensure that Ubuntu Universe repository is enabled. For that, type sudo apt install software-properties-common. Then as next command, sudo add-apt-repository-universe. Next, we need to add the rows to gpg key with apt. For that, Using this command, install curl. So, using sudo curl hyphen SSL and then give the URL. So, we can add the rows to gpg key with apt using this. Copy the next command to add the repository to your sources list. Next step is to install rows to packages. So, first we need to 
update our repositories. For that, type sudo apt update. ROS2 packages are frequently updated in Ubuntu machines. So, next thing is we need to upgrade. For that, type sudo apt upgrade. Then comes the most important step. That is the desktop installation of ROS2. So, ROS, Arvis, Demos, Tutorials, everything will be installed. So, if we want a graphical interface, we need to install using sudo apt install ros-humble-desktop. So, in case you don't need any graphical interface, you can go for sudo apt install rows hyphen humble hyphen rows hyphen base so in our case we need a graphical interface so we are going with sudo apt install rows humble desktop next step is to set up the environment so copy this command to source the rows humble environment in the home directory location uh, type gedit space dot bash rc gedit is the name of a text editor and dot bash rc is a file in home directory so we are opening dot bash rc file in the text editor called gedit paste the command source slash op slash row slash humble slash setup dot bash so from new terminals your rows humble distribution will be sourced in your system. This source command will not come to effect in the current terminal. So take a new terminal if you have any new commands to launch. Press Ctrl, Shift and T to take a new tab in the same terminal. So this is the moment of truth. We are going to test whether our rows 2 commands are working. So first step is to run a publisher node. If you are coming from rows1 background, you know the command to run a node, right? It's rows run in rows1. So here it's rows2 space run. Rest all is the same, package name and then the node name. Copy this command and paste in the new terminal. The command is rows2 space run demo underscore nodes underscore cpp space talker. So talker is basically a node in the package demo underscore nodes underscore cpp and rows2 space run is the command to run a node. So what happening here is we are running a node and this node is publishing a topic continuously. This node is publishing a string hello world continuously. We can try out some other commands. Take a new terminal and type rows2 space topic space list. So if you are coming from rows1 background if you want a list of ROS topics, the command we will be providing is ROS topic space list. So here it's ROS2 space topic space list. So you will be able to see all the topics that are currently in the ROS environment. So chatter is the topic that we are publishing from Talker. So in case we need to visualize it in terminal, we can use the command rows2 space topic space echo space slash chatter. So we are echoing the topic named chatter. Ctrl C to exit. If you want to see information on the topic regarding number of subscribers or number of publishers, you can use the word info instead of echo. Take another terminal to run a node for subscribing so we are subscribing the same topic called chatter using the command rows2 space run space demo underscore nodes underscore pi space listener so listener is the name of the node 
demo underscore nodes underscore pi is the name of the package in which this node is the rows to space run is the command to run a node. So this node is basically subscribing a topic called chatter. Other node is publishing a topic called chatter. So there is a communication between the two. So we need to know the information about the topic chatter. So it's regarding rows topic, right? So the command will be rows to space topic space we need to know the information so we are giving info space and then name of the topic that is slash chatter here you can see we have one publisher and one subscriber if you want to see the flow visually type rqt underscore graph so you will be able to see the communication between talker and listeners use ctrl c to close the terminals Thanks for watching.